Hey, what's happening guys? It is uh, almost 2 o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep, so why don't we just talk about the other use of the LM317 that I mentioned in the previous video, and that is to use it as a precision current limiter. That's right, we can do that. And it's really simple. This is taken directly from the data sheet. Figure 8.33. Here's our LM317. Here is our input. Our output goes to the adjustable wiper of a potentiometer through the potentiometer and out to one of the legs, just like that. And then our adjust comes out to the other leg. So you know, if this is if you have your potentiometer and it looks something like this. And you have leg one, leg two, those are the outer legs. And then this one is your wiper. So if we call this A, B, and C, you would just hook it up like this. B, 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 did I do that right? B, yeah. Should be another node there. B, A, and C. So, and you hook it up just like that, then you can adjust this pot to limit your current. And your current limiting formula will be 1.2, which is the internal voltage reference here over R1. And this guy here is, of course, R1. Now, I have an example set up for you. So let me get that. There is the exact circuit. I'm just using this little electronic load as our load for the circuit. We need a meter, don't we? So we're set up to read milliamps. And where's the last thing I need, which is the screwdriver to adjust. One moment. Found it. Okay. So here's our power supply. We're going to feed it 5 volts at a possible maximum of 5 amps. And you can see right now we are drawing 13.62 milliamps at the lowest. And if I adjust it, there we are at about midway, 23.09. And all the way up, 108.6. So that gives us a swing of 108.6 down to 13.41, 95 milliamps of swing. Now, the astute among you may notice this extra resistor kind of hanging out here and you may be wondering why he's there well he's there to help me lower the resistance of this potentiometer this is a 101 so that's a hundred ohm potentiometer now without that little resistor on there which is in parallel if I adjust the voltage we're still at our lowest but look at that our highest is only 20.46 giving us only about a 7 ohm swing so all you have to do is put another resistor this in case this is a 10 ohm resistor it just goes whoopsies it doesn't go whoopsies I go whoopsies when I make a mistake it just goes like that between the wiper and the outside leg and that allows me to get a much greater voltage swing out of this. See how nicely that works out? Really simple circuit. Nothing much to it. Oh, I just conked the camera. Anyway, 
you would put that extra resistor in parallel like that that's all I'm doing there so there is a precision current limiter as it is called in the data sheet now a bunch of guys had said well you know when I did the voltage adjustable uh, voltage limiter that I didn't use a capacitor and all that well I didn't for a reason and the reason is I think when you're teaching just the basic concepts it's important to just teach the basic concepts I mean this is the LM317 it's a three terminal device the devices are adjust out in hook it up this way you get this hook it up that way you get that but if you wanted to put a capacitor in there to kind of smooth things over you would put it from the input like that to ground and that will definitely help smooth things out what other effects would have on the circuit Oh, look at that down to 11.2 and up to 108 so my challenge to you is why did adding that capacitor across the input open up our range just a little bit think about that and put your answer down below Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Hopefully I can go to sleep. Peace.